Hello there, you're watching Focus Economy with me, your host, Bakhtar Fendi. Now, mineral wool made from molten glass or stone is an insulation material commonly used in Malaysia. Insulation offers a highly cost-effective way to reduce energy consumption as well as carbon dioxide emissions, resulting towards lessening the impact of global warming. Let me introduce you, our guest today, to talk more on this. We have in the studio the spoke uh, persons of Malaysian Insulation Manufacturers Group, MIMG, is also the vice chairman. He's Mr. Mr. Thomas Helgard, welcome okay. sir. And of course, we have next to me is the technical committee of uh, MIMG, Mr. Faisal yes. Idris. Now, welcome Hello. to the show, gentlemen. Thank you. Now, perhaps to start with, MIMG itself, what's the group? Uh, what is it all about? Is it a uh, society, uh, an association? First of all, thank you very much for having this opportunity to come here today. And My pleasure. <laughs> talk about insulation because we consider it to be one of the best kept secrets in Malaysia in terms of what you can actually do to improve your building. MIMG uh, stands for Malaysian Insulation Manufacturers Group. Mm -hmm. It's an industry group under Federation of Malaysian Manufacturers, FMM. And we've been together in this group now for more than three years. It consists of the three uh, local manufacturers of mineral wool, mm -hmm. uh, Pulley uh, Glass Fiber Manufacturing, which mm -hmm. is a local company from Penang, mm -hmm. CSR Climate Control, which is owned by an Australian industry group, mm -hmm. and they're located in Klang Valley, mm -hmm. and Rockswell Asia, which is uh, located in Malacca, and is part of uh, Rockwell International, the biggest manufacturer of stone wool in the world. Mm -hmm. And we've been here for uh, 25 years for the two companies, 10 years for the third company. The reason we formed this industry group was that uh, although insulation has been used for so many years, it's actually quite a small market for this very interesting material. And we thought it was better to join forces mm -hmm. and, and sort of imp in, 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 in engage with the government the technology, yeah. and, and explain the virtues of insulation to government as an industry group mm -hmm. instead of as individual companies. Now, Mr. Faisal, can you briefly you know, uh, explain to the audience and explain to me as well, yeah. it is not a new technology, but what is mineral wool insulation? Okay, when we talk about mineral wool, so basically the raw material should be come from mm -hmm. mineral. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we are talking about stone mm -hmm. and also glass, which is not man-made. Glass is. No, glass is not man-made. Glass is not man-made. Glass is made from silica. <laughs> I, it's true. <laughs> okay. So but we formed the glass from the silica, of course. <laughs> okay. So the process will be we have to melt either the stone or the glass if let's say we took example for the stone itself, mm -hmm. we melt it at 1300 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. and then it comes to a molten stone. Mm -hmm. Then we fiberize it. Then it will form into fiber. We collect the fiber and we do a lot of stuff with it. Um, a lot of stuff when you mention uh, do you insulate well, um, what kind of uh, equipment that do you insulate and what are the benefits of you know insulate insulation okay when it comes to application wise um, this products when I come when I said that we play around with it we do a lot of stuff with it we make it in the form of slabs blankets pipe section mm -hmm. okay if for slabs and blankets we do for building application we do insulate the roof the wall itself and then when it comes to the pipe section, basically it's for the piping, in the, uh, for the industrial application. Um, and, and you do all this insulation for various reasons, Mr. Thomas. Uh, yes, uh, safety, an insulation material yeah. can take many f shapes and forms, and today we're mm -hmm. talking about mineral wool. In, in its basic form, insulation is actually used to uh, slow down transfer of heat into a building in our case. Mm -hmm. So if you think of it, you have the very hot climate outside, you want to preserve a good comfort level inside. Today uh, the sun will burn on your roof and on your wall and, and the building will become very hot. If you put an insulation material into the building, it will actually prevent the heat from coming in or at least slow it down. And that's what a basic uh, insulator does. So this will defy the uh, theory that it's only done in uh, coal countries, coal... Uh and that's what we meet all the time, because <laughs> yeah. this industry uh, has been around for more than 70 years and is widely used in, in Europe, North America, mm -hmm. China, basically all over the world. But mostly in cold climates, where of course you want to preserve the heat With inside the building. the same material of insulation? Yes. The, the way we try to, mm. uh, to explain it here is, uh, we ask you to think about a thermal cup. Mm -hmm. Because a thermal cup 
when you put your hot coffee in it, you know it keeps the coffee hot for longer. And that's actually what happens in, in, in for instance, my home country, Denmark. You heat up the air, and then the insulation keeps your house warm. But during your thermal winter, cup yeah. also works if you pour in cold water. Exactly. And it also keeps the water cold. And that's what uh, we want to do here. We want to cool down the air and then keep the cool air inside the building. The insulation material works both ways. It's a, a, a component which is passive in nature, meaning that it doesn't care if heat is on one side or on the other side. Does it have any safety concerns, any health is issues? Okay, um, when you talk about safety concerns, the product itself is fire retardant. It didn't burn. Uh, we have certificates to show on it. And, uh, so this is all for mineral insulation? Yes. Yeah. And if you talk about the safety issue, I mean, products in the market, of course, we have to ensure the safety on the safety uh, on the safety side of the application. Mm -hmm. I think basically that is what it is it's going to be on safety. I see. Actually, in Malaysia, there's a standard for this type of product, a Malaysian standard, mm -hmm. and we comply to that all three local manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a safe material to use, and, and it is uh, uh, living up to all kinds of uh, local and, and international standards for this type of material. Can you just insulate buildings, or what are the other things that you can insulate? We can insulate buildings. <laughs> we can to insulate green, ships, uh, oil rigs, petrochemical plants, nuclear power plants, uh, basically all uh, sort of constructions where you have a need to preserve the energy or the, 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 the heat or the cold, where you need to protect against fire spread. And a third a very important parameter, mm -hmm. which is acoustic, because this material actually also has a very good uh, sound insulation mm -hmm. properties. Mm -hmm. So in some places uh, it is used even to uh, as a road uh, sound block from the highway to the, to the residential areas. In, yeah, in, in Malaysia it is used in uh, most commercial buildings, mm -hmm. it is used in airports, <coughs> hospitals, uh, to a keep few the residential air, buildings. To uh, keep the air cool and like what you mentioned just now. Yes, uh, for the three purposes to, to save on your energy bill. Mm -hmm to uh, insulate the building in terms of fire mm. spread and for acoustic regulation of, uh, of the building. Well said. So no, that's the three areas. Mr. Hel Helga and uh, Mr. Faisal, we're going to have to take our first break now. When we come back, perhaps we want to talk more on the current demand and current state of affairs of you know, the mineral wool industry in Malaysia. Stay tuned.